Hello Year 6, I'm Mrs Werry. I will be your head of year when you join us here at Brannell in September. I'm also an English teacher so I might be lucky enough to teach some of you English as well as be your head of year. Now we know it's pretty disappointing that we're not able to meet you all in person through the transition days that we planned. So therefore the tutors and I are going to give you some information about ourselves so that you get to know us a little bit better. We're going to tell you five things about ourselves. Four of those things are going to be true. One of them is going to be a fib. We want you to see if you can decide which one of the things that we each tell you out of the five is the fib. Okay, so number one from me. I once had to remove myself from my own classroom because I was laughing too much. Number two. Once when I was in hospital, I flooded my room so much so that the cleaning staff had to come with some special vacuums and suck up all the water that was all over the floor even under my bed. Number three, I love watching cricket. Whether it's local, national, international, I love it. I've often been known to stay up into the wee small hours of the night watching test matches that are going on abroad. Number four, I hate banana bread. I think that making and eating banana bread should be made illegal. And number five, I used to do comedy routines for charity. Okay, so that's my five things. Four of them are absolutely true. One of them is a fib. Can you decide which one of those was the fib? Okay, so did you guess which one of the five things I told you was a fib? My fib was number three. I don't like cricket at all, and I certainly wouldn't stay up late at night to watch it. Hi, my name is Mr Leo. I am the assistant head of Year 7. I am also the tutor for 7K. Um, I am the MFL and Humanities teacher and you can normally find me in D9. It's a shame that I can't get to meet you in person but we'll make up for it in September. I have size 14 feet. I am an Arsenal fan. I have been a county champion at rugby, football and athletics. I always wear a pink tie on a Friday. I have sung on stage with Brian Connolly. Can you guess which one of these is a lie? I don't actually have size 14 feet. They are actually a size 16. Hello everybody, I'm Mr Morse and I will be helping you in the classroom as well as teaching you maths. I'll also be helping you around the school at break time and at dinner time. I know joining a new school can be scary, but please don't spend your summer worrying. I promise you everything will be fine and okay. You will love Brannell and you will meet lots of really nice people. So before you start, make sure you have enough pens, pencils and the rest of your equipment. Then enjoy the summer holidays, enjoy the sun, have as much fun as you can. Don't forget to put your sun cream on and we will see you in September. It's really important you make sure that you do as many kind deeds as you can every day. Just be kind. So here are five facts about me. However, one of them is not true. You need to guess which one is actually a lie. So here we go. I have eaten 50,000 fish fingers in my lifetime. I eat fish fingers pretty much every day and I reckon I've eaten about 50,000 of them. I've also never been outside England. I've never been out, I've not been outside Cornwall very often, but I have been, out, been outside Cornwall, but I've never been to Wales or Spain or Germany, and I've never been on a plane. My third fact about me is that at primary school, my friend had three thumbs. He actually had two thumbs on this hand and one thumb on that hand. Is that true, I wonder? 
My fourth fun fact about me is that I can juggle six balls in the air at once. Now the world record is actually 11, but I'm not that good. But I think it's pretty impressive that I can juggle six balls in the air at once without them dropping to the floor. Also, I can read your mind just by using a calculator. And I will prove it to you when you join Brownell School. So can you guess which one of those facts is not true? Okay, so you've had a chance to discuss with the rest of the class now which of my fun facts was a lie. And I can reveal now that the untruth amongst these five facts was this one. Unfortunately, I cannot juggle six balls in the air. Um, the world record apparently is 11. Uh, I'm really struggling with juggling two or three balls in the air. I wonder how you got on. Okay, so hi to our New Year 7s. It's really good to meet you. Um, I'm Miss Collins, so I will be the tutor for our tutor group 7G, so that could be you. So I'm really looking forward to meeting you in September. But if not, then you will see me for English probably. You'll see me up in the English department here at Brannell. Um, and I thought I would bring you to my favourite place. Okay, I'm going to tell you five facts about myself today, and you have to guess which one of them is a lie. So my first fact is that this is my favourite place at Brannell. Um, you can see there's lots of flowers in the fields, and I'd like to bring you out here when we perform Shakespeare so you might be in this field sat in the sun for a little bit reading some Shakespeare which would be nice and fun and um, my second fact is um, my favorite color is green and um, my third fact is gonna be I'm not from Cornwall and um, even though I do live here I still hate Cornish pasties and um, I'm really not a big fan they've not grown on me at all um, what else? I was once in an episode of Coronation Street. I don't know if any of you watched that program, but I was once an episode of that. That's quite interesting. And I've been told that I can do a pretty good sheep impression. So uh, maybe you'll find out if that's true or not when you meet me and maybe ask me to do that one. But yeah, which one of them is a lie? Um, but other than that, have a great summer and I'm so looking forward to meeting you all. And I'll see you soon. Hi again, New Year 7. So um, you've seen some facts about me and heard some facts about me. So my lie was, I'm not sure if you've got it or not, but I've actually never been in an episode of Coronation Street. I've seen a lot of celebrities from Coronation Street out and about where I'm from in Manchester, but I've unfortunately never been in an episode. Okay, and unfortunately it is true that I don't like Cornish pasties. So please don't hate me. <laughs> okay, I will meet you in September. See you soon. Hi, uh, my name is Mr. Duenas and I teach photography and design technology here at Brannell. Um, I love being creative, making things, trying things out and um, yeah, I can't wait to get to meet you guys and do the same with you. So as a little bit of an icebreaker, I'm going to tell you five facts about me and you've got to choose which one is a lie. Okay, so a long time ago, before I was a teacher, after I finished university, I spent a lot of time living in New Zealand, okay, almost a year altogether. And then when I came back from there, you know, I've got a bit of an interest in traveling, okay. Um, I've done up quite a lot of camper vans in the past, and I took 12 months off an old job and I drove all the way down to Africa, okay, that was amazing. And I went to surfing, I spent a bit of time over in Indonesia, and one time I got chased out of the water by a tiger shark. I went pretty quickly, okay, and I spent a bit of time in South America as well, and I actually had the chance to swim with humpback whales, which was amazing, okay. And more recently, right up to date, I used to I used to crew on an old classic yacht. It was built in 1909, and uh, spent a lot of time traveling around Europe, UK, the Sillies, and um, had some of the best times of my life doing that. Okay, so this is the DT workshop, um, might be a tutor room in the future, I do not know yet. But um, just to let you know, the lie was, I've never lived in New Zealand. That was a dream, and it still is, and it still might happen, you never know. Hi guys, um, my name is Mr Smith, I'm going to be a Year 7 tutor next year, and I'm really looking forward to it. Um, I was really, really upset that obviously you've not been able to come up for any transition days, um, but I hope to see some of you soon in September, um, and I've got a few little facts to go through in a minute. I'm actually a catering teacher in this school, okay, so you might even have me for catering as well. So, I'm going to go through my five facts 
facts for you, but one of them is a lie. You need to be detectives and work out which one it is. So, number one, I wear colourful shirts nearly every single day and my outfits are very out there, but everybody loves them. That's my first fact. Okay, so my second fact is that when I was little, I used to live in Spain. Mm. Okay, so fact number three is that I have two dogs. One is called Rosie and the other is called Jess. Okay, so my fourth fact is that when I went to school, I actually went to Brennell. So I went to the same place as you. When I was there, I was in Ritchie, but now I'm in Melador. So we're going to go, Melador. Okay, so my last fact is that I cooked for the Queen at the G7 summit when she was down with all the leaders and the rest of her family. Okay, so my lie is actually that I didn't cook for the Queen at the G7 summit, but that would have been quite cool. Hi guys, uh, my name is Mrs Chilton and I'm really, really excited uh, and looking forward to seeing you in September. I'm really sad that unfortunately we can't meet in person this year, uh, but I'm actually really looking forward to September when I get to meet you properly. So I hope you're all good and enjoying the sunshine and I hope it lasts all summer for us. Now, um, I wanted to tell you a little bit about me. Okay, so I've made you a little colourful board and this little colourful board might give you a bit of a clue about what I teach. What do you think? Okay. I'm actually the art teacher here at Brannell and um, I've been here for about, oh, let me see, about probably be about 14 years, so quite a long time now. Uh, and I absolutely love it. It's the best place to work ever. I get up in the morning and I really get really excited about seeing all you guys and seeing the amazing artwork that the students produce here. So I'm really looking forward to seeing some of your work as well in Tutor, hopefully. So, a few things about me. First of all, um, I'm married, uh, but I don't have any children because I've got you guys instead. Uh, I've got a cat. Uh, and a very naughty dog called Victor. My cat's called Monty. Uh, and um, he's really naughty because he chases Monty around quite a lot. So he's a, he's a bit of a bad boy, really. Um, I like, obviously, I like painting and I like drawing. And when the weather's like this, I love nothing more than going for a walk, especially in the woods. That's my favourite place. I like reading books because that helps me sleep and helps, helps me relax and I get to go off on different journeys and adventures okay, reading lots of different books uh, I like, uh, as I say, that I like walking I like reading books, I like ice skating which uh, I don't get to do very often unfortunately but uh, in Brannell Challenge generally, not this year obviously but generally we do try and make a trip up to Plymouth to do just that, to have a bit of an ice skate. So I'm really looking forward to next year so that I can have a skate around. So I have a little bit of a challenge for you today. Okay, first of all, well, two, probably three little challenges. The first little challenge is I wonder if anybody can work out why I've chosen these colours here. Do you think you can work it out? Why those colours? I would also challenge you, it would be really, really lovely if you could maybe make me one of your name maps. Something similar, you don't have to do it on the computer, you can do it with a pencil or a pen. Uh, and it would be really nice if you could bring a little postcard all about you, telling me something about you in September so that I know some of your hobbies and things that you like doing. And the last big challenge is... I'm afraid I've said a bit of a fib on here. So it's up to you to work out okay, what it is that I might not be uh, truthful about. So I'll give you a few facts first. So I've got a dog and a cat. I'm married. I have a twin sister who also teaches art. My favourite subject at school apart from art was history 
Which one of those do you think I'm fibbing about? It's over to you. See you in September. Bye. Hi guys, did you work out my fib? I've got to tell you, I am definitely married. I definitely have a very naughty dog called Victor and a cat. I loved history at school apart from art. So my big fib is that there's only one of me, no twin sister. Did you get it right? Hello Year 7, my name is Miss Boswell and I'm going to be one of your, some of your lucky tutors next year. So I have got 7H next year and I'm very much looking forward to seeing you. I am a teacher of history as well as being your tutor. So to help you guys get to know me a little bit better, I have come up with five facts about me but one of them is a lie and you have to figure out which one that is. So my first fact is... I have never broken a bone. I've cracked my head open, I've dislocated something, but I've never actually broken a bone. My second fact is, I have lived in nine different houses. So, and actually I've moved once a year for the last six years for various reasons. My third fact is, Ich spreche ein bisschen Deutsch, or I speak a little bit of German. My fourth fact is... I have flown and been in the control of a plane several times, including doing loop-the-loops and barrel rolls. It was incredibly scary. And my final fact is... Okay, and my final fact is my favourite food is steak. I cannot get enough of it. Right guys, so this one is absolutely true. I even demonstrated it to you, so I'm be disappointed if anyone said that one. I have actually lived in nine different houses through going to university and then just having to move a couple of times. I have actually never broken a bone, like I said, cracked my head open, but never actually broken a bone. So it's down to, have I flown a plane or is my favourite food steak? And now this may surprise you, but I have flown a plane. And the lie is actually that my favourite food is steak because actually I'm a vegan. So I don't eat milk or dairy or eggs or fish. So there you go, I hope you got that one right. Hi Year 6, soon to be Year 7. My name is Mr Wise and I'm going to be a tutor at Brannell Secondary School. Nice to meet you. Um, I'm going to be brand new too, so hopefully we can all help each other out and try and navigate our first year of Brannell together. It's going to be amazing, okay? Um, as you can see just behind me, the Falmouth Harbour is looking beautiful today and that's what we're going to look at in geography. We're going to look at some processes and some features in a five years at um, Brannell Secondary School. Okay, that's just one thing you can learn about in geography, how that coastline's formed. But enough about geography, now we're on to our five interesting facts about me. Remember, one of them is a lie. Right, number one, I have had afternoon tea at Buckingham Palace. Number two, I have swam with sharks in the ocean. Number three, I used to pick kiwi fruit, you know, the little furry green kiwi fruit. Um, as, a, as a living, as a job. Number four, I have been inside an active volcano. And number five, okay, the very last one, I have a little dog called Jack. He's a cockapoo cross with a Tibetan terrier. Okay. So those are my five interesting facts. One of them is a lie. Okay. But before I leave you, I just want to say, give you a little bit of advice over the summer. Before I see you in September, there's a few things you can get do to get prepared for a brand new start in Brannell. Read a book, get outside in the fresh air, do some hobbies and some sport, okay? But also, have a bit of fun. Make sure you're nice and relaxed, and ready and raring to go for a September start in a brand new school, in a brand new term, okay? But I can't wait to meet you. I'll see you on Friday. Cheers.